Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Ford Field. Swift to start the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Whoa, whoa. Right back to Swift again on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Now it's gone. Man open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Detroit. On the last St. Brown, 66 yards. And the Lions are on the board here first in the season opener. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. This one out quickly to Watkins. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Now one for one, a lot more to go. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Hurts to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate Smith for an eagle first down. That's a great example right there to remind everyone of what a weapon he can be as a mobile quarterback, Charles. Nice play to escape the pocket and get his offense into the red zone with a first down. And defensive coaches losing their mind on that play because 
They knew about his mobility coming in, and they preached all week long. If he gets outside the pocket, five receivers. And Sanders has it poked free, and this is scooped up by the Lions. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He's at the 30. 10, 5, and into the end zone. A scoop and score on the fumble return for the Detroit touchdown. So this defense clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason to improve this defense. I have to say they like the early returns. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that'll make the score of 14 to zip. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They had the auspicious beginning to the season, a first drive turnover. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. And now the Lions going to stop us momentarily as they call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, first the ball free, and it's second down. Well, that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. the incomplete pass. Here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Hot 70, hot 70. 18, right here. Throwing his hurts. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A gain there of 30 big ones. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he takes this for about six down inside the 40. When you're down early, how do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. The last run got six, now second and four. Hurt's going to keep this himself. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That time they pick up a 24 yards on the keeper. First down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Second down, back to Sanders, and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down.
It'll be Hurts on the option. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Eagles have cut it back within a score. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll make our score 14-7. to Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and 10. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Having someone like TJ Hawkinson as your starting tight end makes you feel good as an organization because he finds ways to get open and gives his quarterback a reliable safety net over the middle or even to the edges. Case in point there, that play for a first. There he goes left side. Touchdown, Detroit. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. He's going deep for Brown. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, right now they just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Second and six. Value three, value three. Go off a handoff here to Swift. Swift is hit, and he coughs it up. And they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. 
Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receiver. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And he just throws this one away. That was a bit strange. And here comes the flag. Uh, we saw it too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. Ready? They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Hurt sets up to throw it. Open man has got it, the tight end. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Bearing it out deep for Smith. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Lions are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Boy, the coverage there, airtight as he comes away with the interception. Love that observation there because they were taking a shot in the end zone, but you're right about the coverage. Absolutely tremendous. And this they could clip for a training tape. Staying with him down the field, locates the football in the air, and comes away with the interception. They find some open field here. He's up to the 20, and he's going to step out of bounds up past the 40. A big play there for Detroit, 41 yards. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. On first and 10, gone. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Anthony Harris on the tackle. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense... The next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Goff now looks to throw. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And they'll have it in the red zone before. So the big gain, all for not for the flag, is going to bring it back. Oh, what a tough look for the offense because they see all that yardage lost and that ball's walked back and then some behind the original line of scrimmage. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Goff now looking to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Third and long, it's gone. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later. 
and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get a second one. And he'll be brought down at the 27. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From the 27, Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And once again, this is Sanders. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Okay, so roughing the passer, I've got to imagine that's the last thing you want to see week one is your quarterback taking an unnecessary hit. I think you're exactly right about that. You hate it any week, but boy, are you on target. This is doing this to... And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, his first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. Elliott good on the extra point. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm about to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. That'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Now go off on first down. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. McCoff and Williams hooking up there for a Lions first. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. 
Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's gone. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? From the red zone now, gone. And this one's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's gone. Flush to his right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. On third down, here comes Swift. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Seibert's kick is good, and the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Here we go, here we Line go. of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster. And you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the post game. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. Ready? They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And this one is incomplete. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. It's a new season, so both of these coaching staffs likely making plenty of adjustments after their first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. 
And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking. For this is intercepted. And the Lions are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. The cross throw complete there to St. Brown. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Goff on third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. They'll look to throw. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Well, the three points certainly helps, but you feel like, Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, you need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense to get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Back to throw, golf. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not gonna say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. There's gone. 
And open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. And he is going to have a Lions first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, here's Swift. And he's got some space here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 47 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check, check, check. Once again, it's Swift. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a give right side Swift. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Maverick, Maverick. Value three, value three. Now gone. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Tiger, Tiger! Swift going to try up the middle. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Gone. He'll get this off to Swift. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And third and eight now. Give him the completion, no gain, but let's focus in on that tackle. Open field tackling, the hardest thing to do in the game, I believe. But when you get outside the tackle box, it becomes a numbers game. The defense had more than they could block. 
The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Here's a handoff to Swift. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. Seibert able to knock this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. On the, jump. the Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Let's go now. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hurts. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? This offense so far on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. This is Smith with a grab. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. He's going to take another shot here. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Look at my team. Throwing his hurts. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. 
Picked by Tracy Walker. And the Lions are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Well, time, I mean, certainly not on their side offensively. They had to take some chances, but that interception will further hinder their already slim chance at victory. Yeah, and you're talking about time not on their side, but it certainly is on the defense's side, and they understood that. They knew they had to press it a little bit, and they planned accordingly, and what a benefit for them, able to pick that one off and hopefully put this game away. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Brandon Graham, great pursuit there, getting the tackle for loss. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And a lot of talent on this Eagle defense, and you've seen it on these last two plays, both losses. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now, that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking it in the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth-quarter stop? So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. They'll run right here with Swift. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. across the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Aiden Hutchinson, that is one that he will remember. His first career sack in his first career game in the National Football League. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Looking here for Smith downfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. 
on the handoff. This is Swift. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Golf. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Goff now looks to throw. Across the middle, he's got it complete to St. Brown. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Seibert's kick is good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. Let's see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hurt sets up to throw it. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that is incomplete. I help me out here with partner because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. The Eagles on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and ten. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. They're down two scores, and they need a quick one to try and get back into this one. That was one way to try and get it done. Unsuccessful in the attempt, but they have no choice but to keep trying. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. He's going to go up top again. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Lions will get the football back in terrific field position. down throw gone rolling to his left and that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two they like going to him in the slot he catches another one I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him why not go back to it he has something going really well great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball and they keep making the connection
On second down, Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run here with Swift. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. six points this game has been a lesson a clinic in how to throw the football i mean even with a big lead they're not turning off the engine they're not getting off the gas at all they plan to keep going at them and it's working for them a good chance now to put this game on ice this is first and goal and the lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards Now from the nine, here's second and goal. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. And just how they envision the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know it's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this one. Yep, a knee gets them to 1-0. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for Week 1, and one of our early window games here in Week 1 on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for the Lions, that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season 1-0. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Washington Commanders come to town. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a home date next week against the Minnesota Vikings.